Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in and we are kicking off today with activating our bonus buttons. So we have four bonus buttons left to activate this week and we haven't done so far this week. So here we are today. I'm going to activate three of our bonus buttons. We're going to activate our switch up, our randomizer and our legend maker. Now it could backfire on us. We've had an incredible run with the team so far this week and talking about the incredible run, if you'd like to go back and check out the run so far with the team that we selected, got thrown out by that roulette wheel at the start of the week, click up here, I'll put a card in for you, check those games out and then come back into today's episode and then catch up from there on out because I feel like we're going to have a bit of a switch up. Now like I say, it could backfire on us. The team is doing so well at the minute. I'm tempted just to sit on it for the rest of the week, but I'm mindful that we have to activate these buttons by the end of the week and we need to try and push on above that 1500. So on the road to 1500, I feel like we can do it as well. Things are going well. Hopefully it doesn't backfire too much, but the first button that I'm going to activate today is going to be that Mm, switch up one. I think that's the one I want to do because that's a sure bet. I can get rid of one Pokemon of my selection and then we can have the wheels throw us out a new one. So I'm going to nominate a Rangaroo. It's not really featured too much this week. Unfortunately, I think it just doesn't suit the team as well as I would have liked it to. Hopefully we have a nomination later on in coming weeks where it does get nominated and fits in with the team a lot better. So going to throw out our Rangaroo. We're going to shoot over to the wheel right now and see what the replacement is. So please, wheel, give us something good. Let's see what the wheel reveals. So we get Luxray. Luxray is an electric type. It is one of the coolest Intimidators in the game. I've forgotten about Intimidator, but it will be so valuable for the team just protecting things like that Xerneas going forward, helping it get those boosts up, getting big damage off. Luxray is an incredible Pokemon. It's going to be really cool to adapt it into the team, so really excited about that. Thank you to so much for the nomination. Wanna play hugs? think was the person that nominated it'll be on the screen right now but that is a great start for us so I'm really pleased about that Luxury is a very cool Pokemon right now I'm gonna activate the randomizer so this is a bit well this is where it gets a bit tricky so we'll nominate a particular Pokemon from the team and then we will have a new one in place so let's head over to the wheel see which Pokemon gets nominated to be thrown out let's go and see <laughs> Oh, it's Garchomp. Oh, you know what? Garchomp has been such a, like, a secret, like, undercover MVP to the team. It's been dealing and working so well with so many threats in this format. And uh, I don't know. I felt like, you know, when I say it could backfire, I feel like this is a little bit backfire. So I guess we're going to have to go over to the wheel now and see which Pokemon comes out from the new selection. Let's go to the wheel and see what we get in place of Garchomp. <laughs> Dragonite, I know there's a bunch of you out there that want Dragonite and have been nominating it for the past three weeks So to finally get it in and it kind of works Over Garchomp it gets access to Earthquake so we can totally use it. It's gonna be great It's got multi scale it has speed control. So we've got lots of options there great selection Again, thank you for the nominations from all of you guys for Dragonite. And it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Again, it fits into that same league as Luxury. A very cool Pokemon. And from the original, 150 as well. So it's got the bonus points there. And finally, before we get into today's games, we're going to activate our Legend Maker. Now, this could be pretty tricky because we've got two Pokemon that we can have selected from the wheel. One of them will be selected to go out and the other one will be, you know, kept safe. So I don't really know which one I've prefer to keep because both Evaltal and Xerneas have been doing such good work. Let's go over to the wheel and see which one we're going to lose this week. Oh, it's sad. It's sad. It's Evaltal. Okay. Um, I don't mind it too much, I think, because Xerneas gives us the ability to boost up. It's a fairy type as well that we're kind of otherwise lacking, so... Evelto, we've got the flying type now with Dragonite, which gives us that ground immunity, so it does help us out a bit. So we've got to select a new restricted Pokemon. Let's go over to the wheel. Come on, let's get something fantastic. Let's make up for it. Let's see what the wheel throws out. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> it's a fix. It's a fix. Every one of you are going to be like, it's a fix. It's a fix. It's swear down. <laughs> it's not a fix. <laughs> okay, we get Primal Groudon. That is incredible. We've got Xerneas Groudon. Now, if we're ever going to get over 1500, we have to do it with these changes. We've got one more change. We've got one more bonus button. We'll activate that tomorrow to see what we get in place of something on our team. We're going to have to do a random switch out and then random switch in with the Patreon button as well. Remember that. So we'll do that tomorrow. Get all these buttons activated. But going forward, we've got a pretty decent team. Let's take a look at what we've got. So we're going to lose the Orangaroo, get the Luxury. Lose the Garchomp, get the Dragonite, lose the Veltal, get Groudon. Here's the new team. It looks pretty decent, to be honest. I like the look of it. We still got Mega Burnett. At least we haven't lost Mega Burnett. That's the one thing. And Perogly as well, who've been doing so much work this week. So, the team is always revamped down in the description below. There's a roll paste, poker paste. Let me know your thoughts on it. Do try it out if you would like some fun. I'm sure it will be a lot of fun. And today's episode is going to be great fun. Remember as well, guys, this week we are running a giveaway. A little thanks to you as a community for supporting the channel. We're giving away this lovely I Heart Flinch flat peak cap to one of you lucky, lucky viewers out there. All you need to do is leave a comment and a like on the, any of the videos this week and you'll be entered into the draw, which will be done on Monday next week. So make sure if you do enter or leave a comment, you tune in to Monday's episode to see if you are one of the lucky people to get that hat posted straight straight out to yourself from myself. So, <sighs> the wheel's always so stressful. I feel stressed out now. I need to just de-stress a minute. Just de-stress, absorb what we've done. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, Groudon's not bad, is it? I mean, it's probably one of the better Pokemon in the format. Let's select some music. We're, <laughs> we're nearly at the 1500 mark as well. Please let this not backfire. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent today. Uh, let's celebrate with Necrozma version 2. I'm excited to use Dragonite, though. Dragonite, uh, Dragon Dance, we've got Tailwind there. It's got multi-scale, so it's a, it is a bit of a beast. Um, obviously, Groudon. We get really lucky because we lose one ground type and get the, the, the primal ground on in overlapping there. So that's really nice. Obviously, if not, we could have still went with an earthquake set. Maybe on Dragonite. It would have been difficult to utilize though because we don't really have anything else flying or floaty that we can earthquake next to. But let's see how this first team gets on. We've got our first opponent of the day. So let's jump straight into team preview. Okay, so our first opponent today is running a team of Groudon, Lunala, Empoleon, Naganadel, Togekiss, and the Lucario. So, it's quite a nice composition here. You've got the restricted combination of Groudon, Lunala. You're going to probably see more of a Trick Room theme, but there will be an underlying Tailwind theme to this team. So, probably a dual mod. Uh, we can't underestimate either one. Lunala, if anything, is probably going to have... Trick Room here to support the Groudon, but again, the Ganadel and the Togekiss have access to Tailwind to support pretty much everything as well as that Lunala. You're going to have the Defiant ability also on that Empoleon, which does make it a bit of a risk for bringing something like Luxray that we would want to shut down the Groudon with um, to the match. Now, Luxray can actually do a lot of work here in this match, so it is something I'm really kind of looking at to say, yeah, we can do we can do some good work here with that Pokemon, but it's just getting it in and not activating that Empoleon's ability. Um, okay, I think we want Perugly as Fake Out Mon. Uh, let's go Xerneas. Let's go Luxray. Do we want Groudon or do we want Dragonite? Because Dragonite could be pretty decent here, I think. Uh, let's go Dragonite. Let's bring it. Oh, I feel like I've just rushed that team preview. Talking about the other team far too much. It's, uh, that's what I... <laughs> I can't blame it on that. I can't blame it on that. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Probably needed Groudon here. Like, definitely need to grab on here, I think. Might be alright. Might be alright. I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Lunala, Lucario. Uh, okay. So. I mean, we do have. We have changed the setup on Perogly, so we do have access to a dark type attack now. Uh, if this is Mega Lucario, it does put on a lot of pressure on both, both Pokemon we got out on the field right now. Uh, we can fake the Lucario out, of course, um, but we can also get Luxury onto the field as well. 
um, and get an intimidate off which might be, be quite good I don't know if we want to do that just yet though um, hmm. we could go fake out into Lucario I mean it might not even mega evolve that's the thing it might not mega evolve and if it does have inner focus where we might be better off just bringing Luxray in and just protecting with Xerneas and just scouting out what my opponent's going to do rather than rushing in and losing too quickly I think that could be uh, something not so good Luxray we have put the assault vest on it so um, it will be able to take special attacks a little bit better than some of the other options that we've got in the team uh, Lucario is revealing that it is Mega Lucario Okay. Um, the Intimidate probably is helping out quite a bit here I'm just kind of kicking myself that we didn't go for the fake out oh wow yeah uh, Meteor Mash and Tailwind okay so there's a the speed control um, hmm. Now, Luxray, do we stay in and just go for a Snarl? Uh, it might be the best thing to do to break the Shadow Shield on the Lunala. Um, do we bring in Dragonite? Hmm. Or do we just attack? Because Xerneas will probably take a Meteor Mash from the Lucario. But Dragonite feels like good fodder at the minute to just come in and um, take a potential Meteor Mash and maybe the double up from the Lunala as well. But the Lunala might... I don't know. Do you target down? Double into the Xerneas? Probably. Oh, are you kidding? Lucario gets a speed boost. We're going to see the Z move from the Lunala now. We're going to have to cut this, obviously, uh, because it's copyright. Feel like Groudon would have been the better call here. Okay, so we'll be right back when this connects. Okay, the Z move into Luxray. We should take this with our assault vest though. It is strong Z move, but oof, man, yeah, it's still doing too much damage. We do get the snarl off. Not really going to help too much against the Lucario, of course, um, but we do get that uh, attack onto the Lunala. Um, I think what we can maybe try and do now is shuffle around this Intimidate because. We really need to get the Lucario minus one. It is neutral at the minute. Um, I'm going to bring in Pure Ugly. And I'm going to try and get a Tailwind off with Dragonite. A multi-scale has bust now. so. But I think to get rid of the Dragonite, you probably have to double into it. Because I think we'll take an attack from Lucario and definitely an attack from Lunala here. So I feel confident unless you double in on the Dragonite, we should get a Tailwind up. Which puts us in a way better position going forward 100% so let's get Perugly onto the field Meteor Mash coming out it's gonna be very nice we take it just about and there's a Moon Guide Beast and we get the Tailwind so man things looking a little bit better for us right now uh, okay so we can fake out the Lucario um, and did we just Dragon Claw the Lunala? Just to get some damage onto it. Um, yeah, because Xerneas can come in and, and totally wreck the Lucario. Uh, we've got Throw Chop to potentially take down that Lunala the next turn once their Tailwind runs out, which is what we kind of want. If we can get the Dragon Claw into Lunala, that'll be ideal. Uh, but I don't know. We're not going to be able to. We are going to... Um, hmm. Okay. That tailwind does pitter, pitter, pitter out, so. Ah, oh, it's just, it's just tough with that Lucario. Now, does the Lucario protect here and the Lunala go for a tailwind? Like, that would be my best, best bet. Which makes me think, do we just go for the Lunala with the Z move? Um and bring in Luxray once again. I think it might be better doing that. So let's bring in Luxray. Let's go for the Z Moonblast into Lunala to try and get rid of it. I'm gonna say the Lucario protects here because I think it's too easy a target for us to, to, to pick up the knockout. And even if it goes for a Meteor Mash, at least getting the Intimidate onto it now will put it down to minus one again. So we should be in a better place to take it. I feel 
Still like this game is slowly slipping away from us though. Uh, I think the ground on was definitely needed in this match. We probably made a bit of a mistake by not bringing it, but there's nothing we can do now. We can just play to what we've got. Um, we do get Luxray back onto the field though, getting that Intimidate, which is so valuable. We just need that Lucario to protect. We withdraw, so that's, uh, yeah. I mean, that's fine. I can I can cope with that. <laughs> Groudon's gonna be real difficult to deal with though. Um, and I don't. Oh, well, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be extremely difficult to deal with. We are gonna be able to get rid of the Lunala unless it protects here. But I would imagine it probably tries to go for the Tailwind. Yeah, no, protect. So this will be more than enough to get the Lunala. So there's one Pokemon down. <sighs> yeah, the Groudon's going to be so difficult for us to deal with here. In hindsight as well, we could have actually went for probably uh, the Z Geomancy as well here, which might have been better for us in the long run, potentially. We did get rid of the Lunala though. Um, I don't really feel like the Luxray has got too much it can do to the to the Groudon though. Hmm. Lucario coming back onto the field. Now the Lucario probably protects here. We've got two. Oh, this is our last turn of Tailwind. Hmm. We could bring in Pure Ugly and just protect Xerneas, expecting Lucario to protect here. Yeah. Does it protect? I mean, we didn't target the Lucario last time, so my opponent might get cheeky and think, well, we could just attack it, but then. Yeah, let's do it. Let's attack. Let's Moonblast. Moonblast. This could be the downfall of us, but I think if I'm my opponent, I might get cheeky and think, oh, we could actually. We should probably, yeah, get the Lucario, so we actually do get it. Okay, so. All not lost just yet. Let's see if it's a Precipice Blades or a Fire Punch. Precipice Blades does connect. Um, okay. So only is bulky enough to take at least another one to two. Um, but it depends what my opponent's last Pokemon is for sure. Let's see. What have they got? It's Naganadel. Hmm. No, I just don't think we've got enough to to beat what's in front of us, unfortunately. Um, then we can we can fake out Nanganadel and Moonblast it, but I just don't think we've got enough to take down the Groudon at this point, which is the, the sad thing. Um, yeah, I just think our selection was just not correct. Forcing the Dragonite, it, it kind of did a job, but just not the job we needed to. So we're getting a little bit punished for that, which is not ideal, but we'll see. Ah, uh, yeah, protecting. And that makes things even worse. Yeah, no protect from the Garden. So nice play for my opponent. I mean, even if this, even if we get this, I still don't think. Uh, we would be able to do very much. We do avoid the, the Precipice Blades here, but the Naganadel are going to be able to pick up the knockout onto Xerneas pretty easily this next turn anyway. Um, I think, in hindsight, if we went for the Z Geomancy, it probably would have been a better call at the time rather than getting the Lunara. But it's always, it's always hindsight's always a beautiful thing, isn't it? Sometimes. Oh, we're going to take a loss, I think. Yes, indeed, sir. Uh, right, what have we got? What can we do? I wonder how much an Ice Fang will do to an Aganadel. We've got to rely on a, a Precipice Blades miss. On our Luxray, of course, as well. And hope for, like, uh, I guess we'll probably need a crit on the Aganadel if it's not sashed, which it likely is, I'd imagine. Mm. So let's see. Again, another sludge bomb. Yeah, into the protect. Precipice blade. Fire punch. Oh, it's into luxury. So, yeah, gonna be more than enough. And that's that's game. Game over. Game set and match. We'll give my opponent all the glory, though. Will not forfeit. 
we'll let them get the the killer blow and we'll see what we can do with a moonblast into Naganadel. Now if they're cheeky they protect Naganadel and go fire punch into Xerneas, but I don't know if you really need to do that, do you? You probably don't need to do that at this point. Sludge Bomb, like I say, it will be enough. It should be. Yeah. Okay. So very good game to my opponent. A little bit sad that we switch things up and it hasn't really went away but like I say I think the big problem there was not bringing our own Groudon to this match if we had our own Groudon we have a way to hit Lucario we have a way to hit Groudon we have a way to hit Naganadel it's a massive oversight on our side of things my side of things so um no one to blame but ourselves but all we can do is come back from that we're not gonna let it get us down we've got potentially three matches maybe four depending on times and things left so Let's continue on. I think it's enough to actually get um, to get to 1500, over 1500 cell. We're sitting on a rating of 14, 1449. Um, let's get some inspiration. Let's go Necrozma version two. I know I always put it on, but it's it's times like this where we need it. We've got Roy I, or Roy the first, whichever. Let's get into team preview and see what we can do here. Okay, so we've got a Rayoga team, Kyoga, Rayquaza, Incineroar, Landorus, uh, the Gengar, and the Whimsicott. So, Double Mega, obviously going to be between the Rayquaza and the Gengar. More inclined to probably, well, I think you probably go down a route of Mega Gengar and then utilize the Rayquaza just as a regular Pokemon uh, going forward. <sighs> Do I want to bring? Uh, I think Per Ugly. Luxor is kind of appealing here, to be honest, because just with its assault vest, it's intimidate as well. It can really disrupt a lot of what my opponent's trying to do. Um, I think we definitely need our Groudon, for sure. Uh, we could go by Net as well. Um, and then Xerneas, for sure, in the back. I feel a little bit vulnerable, though, with Xerneas without this... Uh, without the Power Herb, maybe we need to put that back on, but... I feel like ah, we can't we can't change it <laughs> right in the middle of an episode. Although it would be good. Although we got to stick with our Z move, I think. Stick with the Z moves. Let's see how we can get on. Just not got to tilt. Not got to tilt. Um, okay, Whimsicott Kyogre coming out for my opponent, which is fine. Um, you're gonna see a tailwind for sure from the Whimsicott. I think that's what I would expect from the Wimmy. Um, I probably want to try and prevent that Tailwind if I can and attack into the Kyogre. Yeah, I think that's a, the best idea potentially going forward. I don't know if we Snarl. Are we going to get more out of a Snarl or more out of a, a Wild Charge? Uh, probably more out of a Wild Charge. It would put the Kyogre in range for a Giga Impact the next turn. But it could also just go for a protect here. Uh, if it protects, yeah, it does protect this turn. Um, we've got to watch out for an encore as well this next turn from the the Whimsicott. But we do have a pretty seamless switch into uh, Groudon, um, which we can do. I think we probably want to do now. And uh, do we go Wild Charge? Like it depends on the build of the Kyogre as well. If the Kyogre's not like super bulky then um, then a wild charge will potentially take it down we'll get ground on it. and this is risky because if the whims got switches out for the requaza I don't think it is because it would have it will outspeed a probably or should outspeed a probably so it would have switched out first um, I mean getting the Kyogre now would be pretty big for us Okay, Kyle's okay, gonna switch out. I'm gonna see uh, That's a really nice switch from my opponent. Um, in all honesty, that's a really nice switch. Yeah. Mm. And there's a the tailwind. This mixing is pretty awkward for us. Uh, definitely pretty awkward. Uh, right. Let's protect Groudon. We have to, really. Um, bring in Fur Ugly. For Luxray, we can't keep either of these Pokemon out on the field, especially in front of a Landorus, threatening these ground type attacks. Um, if we can cycle Intimidate. This is this is difficult now, I think. This is where 
A Dragonite would have been good for the Tailwind, but again, let's see what my opponent goes for. As the Encore fails, and then Earthquake. Okay, so you're going to hit your own Whimsicott. Does reveal that it has got Encore as well. Probably taking some big damage there. Groudon at least not taking any damage. Um, the thing we could potentially do here is go for an Eruption, fake out into the Landorus. Um, it's risky though, because we, we could potentially see the Kyogre come in, and then we would be in a lot of trouble. And even if we get the fake out Eruption onto the Landorus, We're giving the Kyogre a free switch in the next turn, which still puts us in a little bit of a tricky position. But, again, not the worst, I don't think. I'm going to go for, for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the fake out into the Landorus and Eruption. Try and pull it off. I don't know if we will. Oh, we do actually get it. What? This is crazy. Encore. Oh, we don't get it because of the Encore. Oh, okay. Hmm. Now we are in trouble. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, let's protect Groudon, because that's all we can do. We'll definitely get a protect off here. Uh, and do we bring in Luxray? We'll get an Intimidate off. To be useful. And we might have been better off just sacking Perugly there. But at the same time, we're kind of whittling away these t Tailwind turns. Ah, how I miss Evelto in times like this. Is it another Earthquake? Okay. Looks like it should take this. We'll take, we take a Primal Groudon Earthquake, so we'll take a, a Landorus Earthquake. Yeah. Okay, what's this? The Whimsicott's got a berry. Man, what is this? What is this? Uh, Tailwind Pit is out. Okay. Hmm. Groudon can't really do anything. I think if we switch in Xerneas and switch in Perugly. Yeah. We've got to do it. We'll probably lose Perugly on the switch in. We need to reset this. It's on call though. And try and preserve our Intimidate. I guess it's like our only way to like neuter this Landorus as well. Um, we'll probably see another Tailwind Earthquake here. Yeah. Okay. At least Xerneas has kind of taken that pretty well. He's taken it amazingly well. Um... I guess Luxor is the one that we have to bring in, get another Intimidate onto this Landorus. And it will allow us to, um, to be in a decent position to still throw out damage onto their side of the field at least. Um, I don't know if I want to Z Geomancy here. We could just Dazzling Gleam and then bring in Groudon. It'd be nice if we saw the lander switch out, but we're not obviously going to see that now. There would have been a switch out. <sighs> okay. And you've got to think that the, the Rayquaza and the Kyogre are in the back, so it makes it even more difficult. Yeah, going for a taunt. I don't really mind that too much. lander has gone for another Earthquake. This combined with the Dazzling Game will get that Whimsicott. Mm, right on taking that. Uh, it's not so bad. Um, I guess the problem is now that we can't protect with Xerneas, um, which makes things even more difficult, because if we could protect then we can switch Groudon out, sack Luxray, but we can't really do that, uh, well we have to kind of have Groudon as our last Pokemon, which we can't. Oh, this is really frustrating. I mean, we could go for the ZG Amancy, get at least a plus one across the board. Um, but this is 
this is me like after taking a water spell I just don't think we can do that um, uh, yeah we can't just try it try it I try to protect uh, the best thing we can do is switch in luxury get the landers down to minus three we'll sack probably both Pokemon here though unfortunately um, and we're still gonna expend another turn the next the following turn going for the geomancy that we can't go for because we're taunted oh we have a little bit of a lifeline you know that origin pulse missing that's pretty big for us Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Guardian Z. Might have been better going for. I don't know. I don't really know. Because if the, the Rayquaz is definitely in the back, it comes in extreme speed range. Like Xerneas is going to be in, regardless here. Um. Yeah. And I think the problem the next turn is that we have to expend a turn while the rear gets a free switch in for the Landorus. Uh, the Kyogre probably just origin pulses again. Unless you haven't bought the ray, which is crazy. But there's no way my opponent hasn't bought the ray, I don't think. Great if it just turned into like a one turn boost so we could just moonblast here. Um hmm. the precipice blades at a wee eruption. Probably precipice blades into the Kyogre just to try and get damage off onto it. Yeah, here comes the ray. Yeah. Yeah. And we're taught we're we're fully in extreme speed territory from the Xerneas. Origin pulse. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. An unfortunate end to the episode. So, five wins, three losses. That 1500 mark is seemingly slipping away from us, which is really unfortunate. <sighs> okay. Let's not get too downbeat about it. We've got one more bonus button that we can activate. Hopefully that will be the one that flips everything around and we can make things better tomorrow with that switch. So we're going to end it there, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to get your comments in, likes in, to get into the draw for this hat. I'm going to go away, console myself after today's two losses, after the, the start to the week we had, which was incredible. The bonus button's backfired completely, but we're not going to let it get us down. We're going to finish positive tomorrow. We're going to come back, finish the week up in style. So do tune in for tomorrow's episode. Have a great rest of your day, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you all for the next one, guys. So until then, take care and bye-bye.